Good morning y'all, it is May 3rd and it is graduation day. It is insane to even think that this day is actually here because I feel like I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. It is currently almost 7 a.m. and we need to get to the arena at like 7.30. So I told my friends and like their families to come here at like 7.15 so we can go ahead and walk to see if the arena because we are very blessed and we have free parking at KD. Um, so, and it's a, just a walk away from the arena, so that is super nice. It's probably going to be like kind of humid out, and I checked the weather, and it's supposed to rain right at 11, which is when we are probably going to get out of the ceremony, so like I'm hoping that a miracle happens, and it kind of pushes off till later. Crossing my fingers about that one. But today, I'm wearing this gorgeous dress. It is from French Connection and I got it from Style Encore which is like a sister brand to Plato's Closet. It's like right near Waterford Lakes if you guys are in the UCF area. I talk about it a lot but um, they have like nicer clothes like more like work clothes and just like nicer brands so it's like more boutique brands. So it's just this beaded dress and it's very fitted. It is a little bit tight on the arms. My mom had to literally like cut the bottoms of it just so I could like move around a little bit. I bought this so long ago and I never really had anywhere to wear it to, but I finally found the perfect occasion. I just think it's super classy and you can kind of see my bra straps because it's not like a normal neckline, it's kind of like a boxy neckline, but I just think it's so pretty so I'm very excited to wear it. Um, might not be the most comfortable thing to wear during a an hour and a half it, little mm -hmm. ceremony, but it's fine because I'll suffer through it. Beauty is pain and I love this dress so much. Here's my cap. I have a yellow tassel and um, everyone has a different tassel depending on like what college you're in, but I think this ceremony today is all College of Science, so I think I'm pretty sure everyone's going to have a yellow tassel if I'm not mistaken. But a lot of other ceremonies, there are like business with like something else, if that makes sense. But I guess College of Science is so big because it has like so many little schools in it. Like Nicholson School of Communication is in the College of Sciences, which is like weird to me. Like I don't get it. All right, guys. So it is 7.29. We are making our way to the arena from the garage. And pro tip, try to get, well, obviously you don't have control of like what graduation ceremony you have but it's nice to have it in the morning because it's a lot cooler and I couldn't even imagine like having it at 2 30 p.m or something like that when it's like super hot and maybe even rainy so hopefully it's not gonna rain but I saw that it might rain at 11 when we get out cross my fingers <laughs> I'm with Carly. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Got the stabilizer going on today? Yeah. Yes. It's off right now. But... Ready for the graduates? Yeah. We're talking to parents. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, so we're walking into the venue entrance. That's where all the graduates are lined up. And then the parents go through the front entrance. Caps on, going through the tent, and going inside. Good, thank you. We're currently sitting in the venue and I think this is like where they line us all up and then before graduation we're just going to walk into the actual C of the arena, well now Addition Financial, they actually just changed it, what, like not even a month ago? Literally, yeah. Yeah, so it's the Addition Financial and I'm actually worried because I think I told my dad to come to the C of the arena. <laughs> so oh, I need uh, to... I think that address still works. Okay, okay, right. perfect, yeah, because he might be a little confused. Charlotte's sister is currently, well, not currently, but she goes to school in Norway for law school, graduate law school, and you can tell the rest. <laughs> so my sister actually apparently bought her tickets in February to come to my graduation and said she couldn't this whole time. So I like believed her because she's coming home in like a month. So I was like, there's no way she's coming to my graduation, going back and then coming back in a month. But she said she had her exams and stuff, so I thought she wasn't coming. And then she didn't tell my family, didn't tell anyone. And then she texted my boyfriend last night to get like the gate code for my apartment. And he was like, oh my God, wait, are you here? Like, I'll just pick you up, whatever. So he like came to my apartment and was like, hey, like, um, sorry, I had like a fight with my friend. Like, can I just come over and like, whatever, I'm here now. Can you just open the door? 
and I opened the door and my sister was there from Norway that I haven't seen since December, I guess. So I like freaked out. And then we were like, well, do you even have a ticket for graduation? Like there's no tickets left. Like people are barely selling them. And luckily we both are, um, we're ambassadors for the Alumni Association. So we get extra tickets. And so she had emailed my advisor like a month ago asking her to save her a ticket for graduation. So she already had a ticket, she was ready to go. Like she tried to call and like change the reservations for our lunch and dinner to like add a person. She bought like a Disney ticket because we're going on Saturday. So she's going to Disney with us too. And I was so shook, like I was so surprised. Like I really didn't, had no idea. She like changed her location to still be in Norway so I could track her and see it. So yeah, I'm excited she's here because I was here for her graduation and we lived together my freshman year and Everything I'm involved in was because of her, so it's really sentimental and I'm really glad she's here. Don't make me cry! <laughs> what are all these cords for? This one's an honors cord. This one is for giving my class gifts. This one's for being a Forever Nights ambassador. This one's for Psychi, and this was for my undergraduate thesis. We love an involved sister. All right, Megan. Okay, mine happen to be the same exact color, but one of them is for honors in the major, and then one of them is for Lambda Pi Eta Honor Society. I only have one cord, it's the green one, and it is for giving a class gift. So, because we are the graduating class of 2019, it was just $20.19, and then you got to pick it up when you got your cap and gown. Um, and then we all have our Katie stall, and it's really pretty, just a white yeah, as and green stall. This is how I spelled my name yeah. so they could really pronounce cool. it better. It's happening! Music. <laughs> <laughs> you only took 30 minutes to get ready. I know. It's about two hours. Oh, girl, The tassel on your cap. On the right side. Also, we are Asha Elizabeth Missenbach. James Daniel Van der Park. Sonali Mari Kamas. to see what's come for me and I will definitely keep you guys updated here on my channel. I know some of you have been watching my videos since I was a freshman here at UCF so it makes my heart so happy that you guys have come along with me through this journey and I hope you guys come along with me after college too. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!